bearings are one of the fundamental components in most machines. They're there to support spinning shafts, keeps them in place whilst allowing torque to be transmitted generally between gears. Bearings need to be reliable, durable and efficient. And in the absence of a lubricant, those three features decay very quickly. So a lubricant must protect the bearing in those three features regardless of where it is and what it's doing. We run a number of bearing tests during our industrial gear oil developments. One of the key tests we run is the FE8 test. We get two axial roller bearings. We load them up, run them at a very low speed, 7.5 RPM, and then different temperatures. Generally it's 80 degrees C. Proper boundary lubrication, so it's just metal on metal. There's very little lubrication film, which means the additives have a lot of work to do. And we run these bearings for 80 hours, we then take them out, weigh them and see what weight they've lost. The main ones that are being assessed is the rolling elements and the spec allows for 30 milligrams generally across 15 rolling elements, which is two milligrams per element. We've seen a lot of lubricants that are available in the market. We've tested them and found that some of them can have in excess of 100 milligrams of weight loss. A good lubricant would pass DIM 51819. We run more severe tests than that as well. We go a step further and run the Schaeffler steps one to four. In the real world, bearings are exposed to a lot more conditions than just one load and speed. So it shows us that we're able to cope with a more varied range of conditions.